Welcome back. Today, the next thing I wanted to show you was my new microphone. I got the Shure MV51. It's a professional home studio mic and it's excellent at recording and it's highly recommended for recording audio books and things like that. So I figured if I'm gonna make YouTube videos and I wanna get serious about it, that I would upgrade my microphone because I do a lot of voiceovers sometimes in them and I've been noticing that it could be better. So I invested. Yeah. I'm also gonna try my, my luck at doing audiobooks. <laughs> That's why I invested in this particular mic. Also, Shure makes excellent audio equipment. Microphones are used by professionals around the world. So it comes with a little manual and then your limited warranty and safety precautions. It tells you how to connect it. There's a, sh a motive device for your computer. It'll automatically insta install the driver. It tells you how to do it for Mac and for Windows. Now, I really like this microphone also because it kind of has an old school feel. It's really well packed in here. This is what it looks like. It's nice and heavy. It has a little kickstand in the back. So you can put it down and record. It's got a nice soft base so it doesn't make a big clanging noise. Can you tell why it's cute? And you can also mount it um, to other microphone stands and uh, you can adjust the gain and other things right here in the front of it as well as it has a headphone jack and here's where you put the USB or USB-C connector. I have a newer Mac so I upgraded to have the USB-C connectors so there's one that comes with just USB and one that comes with USB-C. So, um, and if you're unsure what a USB-C is, the USB-Cs are smaller. So this is the traditional USB, and then this is the part that goes into your mic. And then here is another little connector that you can put on if you want to put it on a mic stand. So it looks like that. And then one more cord. So I am super excited to start using this for my voiceover recordings. Uh, and then I'm also going to dip my toe in auditioning for audiobook. I highly recommend this and after I start using it, I'll let you know and you'll also see a dramatic change in some of my videos, I'm sure. Um, the lapel mic that I have right now belongs to the DJI uh, camera that I have, the pocket. And, uh, you know, sometimes this isn't all you need. You, it's nice to have a mic for voiceover and you know if i ever go live this will be nice um, uh, anyway i hope you enjoyed the video if you do and you want to see more videos that i make like and subscribe and uh, join me leave me a comment about you know what you're doing today and what kinds of things you're looking into for video cam um, recording and uh, webcam recording. Leave me a comment to tell me what kind of equipment you like to use and your thoughts on it all uh, because I'm genuinely interested. I'm constantly trying to improve so this to me is one step closer to improving my uh, audio quality. Some of the great things about this mic is that it has a large diaphragm condenser capsule. It's plug and record. It has five DSP preset modes and you can have real-time headphone monitoring and it's mic stand compatible. So um, you have full control with an integrated touch panel for headphones, volume, mic gain, and more. And uh, the five presets are for speech, singing, flat, 
and acoustic instruments or loud applications. And it has the, like I said, the built-in kickstand, which is super cool, and headphone monitoring, which the spot for the headphones is right there. And it is USB and lightning compatible. You get to download the Shure Plus, Plus Motif app. So I'm so excited. <laughs> Thank you. I'm really glad you enjoyed watching the video. Thank you for watching all the way through. Like and subscribe if you want to see more videos that I am making. Thank you. Bye.